report from Manpower Incorporated says one Utah town is among the best places right now in the country to actually get a job. Fields Mosley live in Ogden, and they've been working on this uh, economic makeover for a while, Fields. They certainly have, Mark. We're standing across from the Solomon Center in downtown Ogden, a place many people are familiar with. They've started on the second phase of this project, creating retail and restaurants. That's creating a lot of jobs, but obviously a lot more going on here in Ogden, enough that in this business survey, it is in the number 10 spot in the country in which to find a job. The American Can Building, if you go back a year and a half ago, was boarded up. Uh, now it's a thriving business area. When looking to consolidate its three brands, Atomic, Solomon, and Sunto, Amer Sports could have gone anywhere. We looked at Seattle, Washington, Portland, Oregon, and multiple places in Utah. But company president Mike Dow says Ogden wasn't even on the radar until the governor's office suggested it. That led to the transformation of what was once a can factory into a modern corporate headquarters. We were able to drive down our overhead substantially by moving here, but maybe more importantly is our employees could afford to live here. Some, like Cindy Patterson, were already in Ogden. She used to drive to Salt Lake City for a good paying job. Commute that was not very pretty. I didn't enjoy the commute. I discovered it was not efficient. Amer Sports arrived on the heels of Descent, which relocated from Denver and converted space in the historic Masonic Lodge. There are about a dozen brand names in town now all attracted by the proximity to the mountains and the beauty of the Wasatch Front. They come to Ogden, yeah. Mayor Matthew Godfrey can't help smiling about it. Eight years ago, he and other city leaders were desperate to transform their blue-collar railroad town. We were in decay for 40 years, and so to climb out of that has been tremendously challenging. They first tried to attract tech companies and got nowhere. Then they hit upon the idea of making the city a recreation industry hub. And frankly, there was a significant segment of our community that thought we were nuts. And thought but then Desant knocked on Ogden's door, and the calls kept coming. Downtown redevelopment, which started with the Solomon Center, is proving successful. Mike Douse thinks they arrived at just the right time. And now we're telling people maybe this is your chance to get into a great mountain community before it's too late or too expensive. The business growth not limited to the winter sports industry and everything here in Ogden not perfect either. It has a long way to go, but it does seem like the economic policies and ideas over the past eight years finally starting to bear fruit for this old railroad town. Ogden, Opportunity Knox. What, what drives me to do these things is that there are really good people here in this community and it's a beautiful place. I think this town has such huge potential. I think it's perhaps one of the most spectacular places on this earth and I want to see this place prosper and I see what this can become and I see the reaction of people when they come to this town for the first time. In the past five years we've seen over 120 acres of redevelopment in our downtown area. This represents hundreds of millions of dollars that's been invested. And we are just now in the middle of that construction taking place. So the investment is, is here and it's growing and over the next um, 18 months those will come out. And when people see the magnitude of this investment it will change the dynamics and all of a sudden there will be more investment in the area. So this is a time to come because values are low and they're only going up and the new development that is underway is going to um, create exponential growth, I think, in the potential and help us get you know, where we should have been probably 10 or 15 years ago relative to values. The High Adventure Recreation Center has been approved, financed. We have a 12-plex uh, movie theater, which will be the most spectacular in the region, the pivotal point in bringing the other players to redevelop the mall. So this is where the Ogden River meanders through the northern end of our downtown right now, but it's really hidden. What we're going to do with this development is we're going to open it up. It's going to become the jewel of this neighborhood. It's going to be an exciting place to live and to shop. There'll be retail along the river and restaurants where you'll sit outside on an outdoor patio. You can enjoy just the natural setting of a river right in the heart of our downtown. My passion is really derived from the potential of this community and my desire uh, to see Ogden become all it can be and to have tremendous economic prosperity and to be a place where my family uh, will want to stay, where my kids can find good jobs, where their kids will want to grow up and raise their families because it is a spectacular place.